of the junior's doc junior doctor strike in England. No sign of any deal on pay being struck. There is a sense that it is causing very significant disruption to the NHS. At the heart of the dispute is the anger of the doctors at a fall in real pay over recent years and indeed in relative pay to others. A sense too that they're overworked in an NHS in a constant state of stress because there are not enough doctors. You've heard them make the argument they can emigrate and lead a better life elsewhere. Well, we found someone who's done that. Sophia Huddart came to the UK to study medicine and work here, but she didn't enjoy the lifestyle as a consultant and anaesthetist, so is now working in New Zealand. I asked her what led her to leave and whether she regretted it. So I was a junior doctor in the 2016 strikes. At the time, I was at the end of my training and looking at becoming a consultant, and there was consultant contract negotiations going on at the same time, which, similar to the junior doctors one, didn't look like they were going to pan out hugely well, and I thought I didn't really want to stay for that. So we made a plan to, to leave the UK um, by the time the strikes had rolled down, and we left, and I haven't looked back since, and no, I don't regret it at all. Right. Let's go through some of the things that make New Zealand attractive for you. Are you paid more, less comparable to what you'd be getting in the UK? <laughs> probably comparable to the UK, slightly more. The cost of living here is probably slightly higher than it was in the UK. I like the lifestyle here. It's pretty relaxed and laid back. I've got a really nice work-life balance now. We've got three kids that I managed to spend a huge amount of time with. Do you talk to your colleagues, your old colleagues back in the UK? Do you swap notes from time to time? Uh, from time to time, we, from time to time, we do. My three best friends who were at university with me, of the three of us, only uh, only myself is the only one left in clinical medicine. Everybody else is left, which I think is a bit of a sign of the times. Yeah, that is deeply, deeply depressing, isn't it? Well, what's your yes. what's your message to, to to the government here, based on your experience? My message to them is that people want to work in healthcare, whether they be doctors or nurses or whatever it is. And if you don't sit and negotiate with the people in good faith, be it about money, be it about working conditions, you're going to lose people because no matter how much people want to continue working in this vocational profession, they will break and they will say it's not worth it anymore. Sophia Huddart there, who left this country to go and work in New Zealand. I think looking at the statistics, New Zealand trains fewer doctors than the UK in a per capita, uh, on a per capita 